Welcome back. And when uh, we last left off, I was talking about these uh, fences that we were going to put on the uh, lower or underside of the wing um, tips of the model. And here you can see Jeff has actually created a piece of carbon fiber that you know we laid up several layers and um, let it harden. And now he's actually cutting out the profile. And there's you know two pieces together here, so he cuts the same thing, and they basically look identical. So he's just cutting those out with the bandsaw. And you'll see kind of the shape or it's taking shape there. And, uh, you know, once he has those done, it's just a little bit of cleanup and sanding. And then we um, bond those onto the lower side of the wing. But we have to be careful to get them, you know, correctly aligned. Uh, in the meantime, so here's the, uh, the cradle for the jig. And it's basically attached to the steel frame of the jig now. Um, or at least, yeah, you know, sort of with the alignment pins that we've got. And so now we're running the mill around there to trim off the rough edges um, of the fiberglass. And here you can see it's almost done. It's doing the second last pass here, um, just moving up to the front part. And we're just using a 3 8 of an inch um, mill there. And uh, we're going to get some better bits for, for doing this cutting because that was a little bit too wide. But in the end, it did a good job. Um, Jeff sanded this back edge here. Just a, a little quick sanding and the other edges still need to be done. But it looks much cleaner now instead of having all those rough edges on there. In the meantime, there's always still sanding going on on other parts. And this is one of the door frames. Uh, I've been working on that in between. But the big project for Tuesday was creating the mold for the lower fuselage. And here you can see Jeff is putting down this wax profile that will create a channel around the edge of the flange. So we can use, instead of using a vacuum bag, we can use a latex sort of skin um, for the vacuum thing when we're doing lots of different um, fuselage coming out of there. And uh, so during the day, our delivery of um, foam sheeting arrived. This is the stuff that we're gonna be using to create the braces on the mold. And then Jeff had finished sanding off these lower um, skins or lower uh, fences for the uh, the wings, for the outboard wings on the lower. And so here you can see just sort of dry fitting this one into place so you can see how it sits there. And this is, of course, on the underside of the wing, right before the transition to the winglet. And that's how it's going to look. So we'll experiment with this and see how it turns out. We may use that or we may create some other different improvement to the wings there just to stop any uh, spanwise flow that may be happening there around that curvature of the winglet transition. Okay, so back to the big project for the day, which was creating the mold for the lower fuselage. Uh, here you can see we're mixing up this black substance, which effectively becomes um, the gel coat similar to what you use in boats. So it's the first layer that we put down over the plug. And we put two coats of that down and that, that basically seals off um, the plug and you know gives us a good layer to put the fabric on. And so here Jeff's, we've got the two coats on Jeff's just working some um, resin mix up with some filler just to smooth out that wax profile so it's not such of a big turn for the um, for the fabric to go over. And then we put down um, a thin layer of uh, fiberglass fabric to start. And then after that, and of course, you know, then we soak it all in with resin. And then after that, we put down two uh, layers, heavier layers of carbon fiber, and then ultimately um, a coat of peel ply, which is basically a fabric that we can peel back off because we're going to be adding uh, more layers of heavier carbon fiber later. And here you can see this is done. This is 1030 at night uh, yesterday. So we just pushed through all afternoon um, to get this done. And, uh, you know, there's only three of us working on this. So we're a little bit underhanded or understaffed. Um, and so anyway, we've got it done 1030 and uh, hopefully we won't have too many more marathons like that. And we also hit 350 deposits this week, and we also have a new guy coming on board in two weeks. So thanks for watching.